Ladies and gentlemen, the Adventure Bus is back with a brand new transmission. Still hear the turbo. Still hear the turbo. <laughs> so in case you guys didn't know, the Adventure Bus did blow up its transmission, kind of. So what happened is I was driving home from a, a camping trip one day, got back to the shop and I realized there was just a trail of transmission fluid leading straight to under the bus. Check the dipstick, it's totally out of transmission fluid. Oh, man, all right, <clears throat> turbo's too heavy, yep. So I didn't exactly know how bad the damage was, but I knew I had just driven anywhere from three hours to 10 minutes on no transmission fluid. So I got the bus towed to a local transmission shop and they pulled the transmission and opened it up and sure enough, all the bearings, everything was fried because it had been driven with no transmission fluid. And the transmission fluid acts as a lubricant as well as making the transmission work. So no fluid, heat, bad for bearings. So that was unfortunate. They put a brand new, or technically it's a rebuilt, but a brand new casing and all that back into the bus. So now it has brand new trans and a brand new engine. So it shouldn't break anything else, but I remember saying those exact words when we rebuilt the transmission, or when we rebuilt the engine, so. Fucking who, who knows, it's a Ford. Fix or repair daily, I guess. But either way, it is back and it should hopefully be reliable for the foreseeable future. Now real quick, before we get into the video, there's something I need to do that I promised a long time ago. That's right. The Adventure Bus is officially closed. If you guys want to help it go a little bit smoother, you guys can go to Patreon and donate there. I want to reward those who help rebuild the bus. So somewhere on the bus, I'm going to have a panel with the names of every single person who donated this month on Patreon. Firstly, I just want to say I'm so sorry it took me so long to put your names on the bus. You know, I was going through the videos so I could find the video that I announced that so I could know when to take all of the Patreon's names from. And when I saw it was from August 1st of 2019, which is a year and a month ago, I felt terrible. At first, I wanted to try to do some really cool like engraved plaque, but trying to do that while getting it to fit in the shape of the bus window, while it's still looking good, was just, it was impossible. So then I knew I had to handwrite it, and then I just put off handwriting 500 names for as long as I possibly could. But it is done, and honestly, it looks so cool. From afar, it kind of just looks like a cool pattern, and then up close, you can see all the names. The other problem is I wasn't able to fit all 523 names on that one plaque. I think I got to like 420, so I'm 100 off, but here's what I'm gonna do. All of the windows on the passenger side of the bus that are blocked off because there's just a wall behind them, we just plastic dipped them. I'm gonna make plaques for all of those windows and I'm gonna put the rest of the names from the August of 2019 patrons and I'm going to put every single patron's name on those plaques for the next couple of months until we fill up those plaques. I think it's gonna look really, really cool. All the patrons will get their name on the bus and it will fund the bus bill. So yeah, it's a win, win, win. If you guys want your name on the bus, head to Patreon. Next couple of months, I'll be doing it. 
But now that is out of the way, we have to actually do some other stuff to the bus to get it ready for this drift event. It's got a new trans now, it drives, and it drives great. But there are some other things, very minor things, that we want to improve really for camping. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to jump right into it, is building a table off the side of the bus so we can cook off the side of the bus so we don't have to have an old collapsible table inside the bus somewhere. We just come out and it's all ready to go. two-person operation oh okay all right cool yeah no sick all right it's a little bit higher than i wanted it to it's on my big shiny piece of metal on my bus i mean it looks that's so satisfying that function is really good that's satisfying that's definitely the best part about it how do you close it you you push up yeah you just push each of those up that's not bad dude We gotta test the weight. We got our boy Mill. Weber should be front and center. Oh, I do a little bit. It's still so sturdy for a side table mounted to a bus. <laughs> I guess that that is true. Come on. When I welded these hinges, it kind of warped one of them, so the 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 lock wasn't actually locked when we were testing it there. So it's it's much better now. It's still uh, still has some flex, but previously it was like that where it had a lot oh, of Oh yeah, that's such a big And now, difference. you lock it manually, which kind of stinks, but you lock it manually and it's much better now, so that's good. Bro! Oh, <laughs> sorry. Like, if you just wanted to clear the table off super fast, all you have to do is <laughs> <True>. relax it. <laughs> okay, so, next up. Speakers in here are awesome, but the rear two have a kind of a whining noise that increases with RPM. So there's two possible causes for this. Number one is that the wires for those speakers are running next to a power wire, 
which is a, a big no-no, which DAW should have known that when we put it together. Number two is that there's a pass-through for the rear speakers that we wired up, like we took a speaker wire, like one of those nice, I don't know what you call them, but we cut it and wired it, so maybe that is causing some interference. So we're gonna mess around with that right now. I think they're called RCA wires. Yes, RCA wires, that's it, ding, ding, ding. I was crawling underneath there, messing with the wiring. The speaker wires were close to a power wire, but just for a little bit, so I moved them up, about to test it. I hear whining already. Yeah, I think that doesn't sound any different. Didn't fix it. Sounds like a tornado siren, kind of. <laughs> kind of yeah, kind of does. So that is exactly the same as it used to be. So it's not that. Yeah, so you're like, dun, 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 yeah. Dun, 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 There's just a lot of. Dun, 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 dun. But then if you go into the front, there's a little bit of static, but it's not. Could you could you bad. switch the RCA cable so that these ones are getting the input from the front? Could you switch this the signals? Yes, good idea. That really quick. Good idea. <clears throat> is it doing it less now or no? Way less. Really? Way and yep, yeah, it's doing the front now. Is it? Yeah. Do you hear that? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so it's definitely those RCA cables, which is sweet. Okay, so we can still just put these back in right now. Yep, yeah. Okay, great. Cool. We uh, figured it out. That, I mean, uh, it sucks that I was under there messing with that power wire for so long, <laughs> but we figured it out. So now we're putting the speakers back in. We put some, what, what do you call that, John? I usually like to call it floofy fluff. Okay, so we put some stuff, pretty much makes the mid-tones of the speakers sound better, according to John. I, I think, at least from my experience, it's like uh, the material that's like inside of a pillow. Um, you know, a lot of people put it into like a sub enclosure and it just makes it sound a lot more crisp and a lot more tight instead of like sound waves echoing off of wood. It just sounds like sound waves. What? Sounds like sound waves. Uh, and then John also cut out, you can't really see a EVA foam gaskets. So there's literally no air gap in between the wall and the speaker. And the speaker is connected to rubber so it doesn't rattle. And we also got some nuts behind the wall so we can really crank on the screws so everything should be tight no rattles good sounding no whining I'm gonna fix this nuts uh, also John uh, you, you fucked up what did I do the the cover uses the same holes and screws as. are the, you serious yeah so you have to do it, it doesn't like, just click on no you have to do it like this John oh dude this is the uh. <laughs> You can't tell me that doesn't sound solid AF. Way better than BF. AF is way better what, than what BF. Would, what is BF? It's better than CF at least. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I have a screwdriver. I'm so <laughs> confused. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> is this some alphabetical joke? Caleb, I can't help you understand this one. <laughs> AF is better than BF. Which is better than CF because it's alphabetically or and like CF would be better than DF. Oh, wow, man, you're so funny. So I have a question for you guys now that I am thinking about it. For the drift event video, which we're going to be doing next, would you guys rather see a short, concise, cool drifting video where it's pretty much just drifting the truck and showing how I improve uh, throughout the day, kind of like what we did for the last one, or would you rather it be more like a vlog? I like doing both. I think I'm a little bit more proud of short concise videos in terms of actual quality but vlogs are sometimes more, more fun to watch especially when i'm with john and pasha and all my other friends we're all just kind of funny we're cracking jokes we're just being ourselves and that can be kind of fun to watch so let me know and with that ladies and gentlemen the bus is all ready for the drift event this weekend i also went ahead and cleaned in here it's awesome I love this thing. This is, I love this bus so much. Yet again, if you guys want to support the bus, support the channel, and want to get your names on the side of the bus, head over to Patreon. If you want to get some merch, we are nearly out of t-shirts. In fact, we might be out by the time this video goes live. So get them while they're there. There is less than 10 left, I believe. But we also have other merch and we have some more merch coming soon. So thank you guys so much for everything. I will see you guys next time. Peace out and goodbye.